Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Foundational Knowledge. And we're going to talk about a subject that, you know, that might ruffle a few feathers. And this came up to me uh, over this past week, knowing that uh, I, I had to do this episode about John A. McDonald titled, You Are Not My Hero. So recently, uh, I did a presentation uh, with our virtual museum and we talked to a lot of schools, thousands and thousands of students. And we had this shirt that we were wearing uh, made by a company called Think Indigenous. So in my culture, we call it Nihio uh, Mamtenichigan E Bachita. And basically what that means is an indigenous uh, lens, an indigenous way of thinking. And so this company called Think Indigenous you know, they have one of the largest educational conferences in Canada where, you know, if you are a teacher and you want to learn about indigenous lenses, indigenous ways of thinking, indigenous systems, indigenous teaching indigenous things in school, you know, this is a very awesome conference to go to. And this is one of the t-shirts that uh, Think Indigenous uh, creates and sells to the marketplace. And basically, it's a very symbolic uh, and meta it has a metaphor to it. And so we wore this and it, it caused a little bit of clash back, you know, that we wore it. And so I decided to, you know, give Chris Scrabb a call, the creator of the T-shirt and Think Indigenous as well, and kind of, you know, get his idea about the T-shirt and explain it just a little bit. And I just thought, you know, I, I, I was a little upset of the clash back but I just thought it's a great opportunity to share and learn. And so this t-shirt, you know, has a picture of John A. McDonald on it with uh, some arrows through his, you know, going uh, through his head there and, you know, X's on his eyes. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that. And in the back, it says decolonize. And so here's the wording in the back. Indigenous peoples are reclaiming the family, community, culture, language, history, and traditions that were taken from them under the federal government policies designed for assimilation. We are alive and we are still here. So let's talk about it. So for many Canadians, John A. Macdonald is like a hero, you know, or a legend. And he's looked at as the founding father of Canada. He is responsible for connecting Canada with the railway systems. And you know what? Because of all that, we name buildings with his name. We name schools after him. We name streets after him. Uh, we have awards that are named after him. We have his face on our money. And we are taught in schools that basically he is a hero. And the truth is, for indigenous people, he is not our hero. He is the father of the Indian Act that is still used today that has devastated indigenous people. And it still does. And he is the father of residential schools. And it's the driving factor of all the pain and suffering that indigenous people face to this day. So this is some of the words that uh, when I was talking to Chris Grab, I asked him to explain kind of, you know, the whole reasoning behind it and what he has learned uh, taking his Ph.D. in education about it. Right. And so he was saying, you know, it's the reason why many indigenous youth do not speak their language, that they struggle with their identity in school. They still get questioned why they have long hair and braids. And if an indigenous boy walks into a, a boy's bathroom, you know, gets ridiculed and saying, hey, you're in the wrong bathroom because people just don't understand. Right. So uh, the uncomfortable truth is that modern Canada is founded upon ethnic cleansing and genocide. And this is by James Dashchuk, who wrote, who wrote a good book called uh, Clearing the Plains. And although he's looked at as the hero and father of confederation and a person instrumental in building what is Canada, you know, he is the direct reason why so many indigenous families and students struggle with their identity, language and culture. And why do indigenous people have the highest suicide rates, imprisonment rates per capita, poverty rates, missing and murdered indigenous women, missing and murdered indigenous men? It all stems through these policies that we have against indigenous people through systems that just do not work for us. And so it's because of the Indian Act, Indian policy, the residential school system uh, and the system itself. Right. So. And all this was imposed and enforced by John A. McDonald. So 
I asked them to explain, okay, you gave me that, you know, great information. I totally understand. I totally get it. Could you tell me a little bit more of how you design the image and, you know, the artwork of this t-shirt? So I called him up. I asked him that. And he, this is what he said. You know, the, the arrows are a representation that that arrow shot back to eliminate the Indian Act. The experimental testing that was done, colonialism, destroying the land and taking the land. John A. McDonald is the poster for creating the Indian Act, the poster person for creating the Indian Act and colonization here in Canada. The arrows are direct shots at colonization, language loss, oppression, and everything that he stood for and everything he did to hurt us. He was the one who stood in front of these policies and he was the leader of the nation state of Canada. And the arrows also represent this metaphor here. And you can look at this shirt as, uh, you know, violent. And some people would say, you know, why would you wear something like that? And the question on the other side is this, you know, why would he lead that? Why would he make those decisions and do what he did and act these policies that are still used to this day? Those arrows are symbolic shooting back at colonization. And that's why in the back of the T-shirt, it talks about decolonization uh, so we have that and that's why but we're also showing through this t-shirt that regardless of all of that that we are still here that we are still fighting and we're still doing our best to regain who we are as indigenous people and so the whole reason he said that he wanted to create this t-shirt was to create conversation you know it, it was a uh, to open up dialogue to, to for people to actually look back and realize why things are the way they are today. Why indigenous people still struggle in these, this educational system, health system, the, the law system, the legal system, all these systems that seem to discriminate towards indigenous people and just do not work for us. So um, hopefully this opened up your mind. Hopefully it opens up dialogue for conversation um, just to talk about it to show that you know what is the Indian Act what are these policies how was the land acquired in Canada how you know all of these great questions to open up conversation and I think it's a great uh, t-shirt to open up conversation to really stop stop people in their tracks and say what is this